$4 a gallon gas to wait until January and then wait till we get it passed through the Congress. I want to give some immediate relief right now. These oil prices are outrageous and they've gone up so fast. When President Bush became president, oil was $20 a barrel. Right. Yeah. It's now $127 a barrel. Yeah. The price of gas at the pump is changing so quickly, it goes up 10, 20 cents a night in some places in America. The projection is we're going to have $5 a gallon gas by the middle of the summer. Okay. Now, if that happens, think of all the incredible burdens that are going to be put on families that drive long distances, like many families here in Southern Oregon. People have to commute to work. People who are independent truckers. There's a lot of folks in our economy who are going to find it very difficult to pay those prices. So I have a four-point immediate relief plan. Number one, I want to go after the market manipulators and the speculators who are driving the price of oil. Some of you remember what happened with Enron. Yeah. Yeah. The Enron energy traders deliberately manipulated the market so that people in California, Oregon, and Washington paid higher electric bills, right? Yeah. Yeah. They just sat back, they laughed at people. They thought it was so funny to cause all these shortages and create all of this disruption. The energy traders in oil and gas are manipulating the market right now. I know this is happening. If we had a Department of Justice investigation, a Federal Trade Commission investigation, we would send a message that they're not going to get away with it. We have to change our laws so that we try to regulate it again because right now it's totally unregulated. We have to close something, unfortunately, named the Enron loophole. Yeah. If we go after the manipulators and the speculators, that will have a chilling effect on their behavior. Secondly, we've got to stop filling what's called the Strategic Petroleum Reserve because right now it's 97% full. In fact, we should let some oil out. That'll help bring down prices. Thirdly, as president, I have voted for this in the Congress, and I would do this as president, we need to go after OPEC. OPEC is a monopoly cartel. Every couple of months, they sit in a hotel conference room somewhere, they decide how much oil they're going to produce and what they're going to get for it in terms of price. That is not a free market. And I think we could do a lot to try to rein them in. And then finally, I believe that we should go after the oil companies and have them pay the federal gas tax out of their record profit this time.